KTSA News Flash. Oil's chaotic price collapse continued today. The price of a barrel of U.S. crude to be delivered in June plunged 43% Tuesday to just $11.57, while the price of a barrel to be delivered next month is only $10. Coronavirus has upset the industry as it's squashed demand and prices are plummeting as traders are running into storage issues because there's so much unused supply. That's ABC's Mark Remillard. While drivers will see an eventual trickle down in oil prices, the pain will outweigh the gain in places like Texas. In the oil fields of West Texas. I mean, it's dead. There's nothing going on. Brent Stanley buys and sells mineral and land rights and has watched his business dwindle as crude prices have fallen off a cliff. But in a state that produces more than 40 percent of the nation's oil, it isn't just the energy sector that will suffer. If there's no oil and gas jobs, there's no one spending any money. Jim Ryan, ABC News, Dallas. Texas may order oil producers in the state to cut production by up to 20 percent to try to stabilize the price of crude and keep it from dropping back below zero. The Texas Railroad Commission oversees oil and gas production in the state. Chairman Wayne Christian says the rig count in Texas has dropped 30 percent and fracking has dropped 50 percent in the past five weeks. There's no simple answer during this time, but the Texas oil and gas industry is resilient. The commission delayed a vote to order production cuts. Christian says he hopes to coordinate cuts with Oklahoma, North Dakota, and Canada and make a decision that would take effect June 1st. Alan Skaya for CBS News, Dallas. Frustration is growing here in Texas as the economy continues to be hit hard by the impacts of the coronavirus pandemic. Dozens of protesters gathered outside of a Dallas County Commissioner's Court meeting demanding business reopen. This is against our civil liberties. It's, this is against the Constitution. If you think that this is the new normal, you're wrong. The message, protect the vulnerable and trust the healthy. Despite protests, the commissioners voted to extend the county stay-at-home order until May 15th. Other protests planned for later this week. Clayton Neville, Dallas. A new COVID-19 testing site is opening soon on San Antonio's south side. Metro Health Director Don Emmerich told City Council they're working with Texas Med Clinic to open another COVID-19 drive through testing site similar to the one at Freeman Coliseum. Texas Med Clinic does have a southwest Clinic, and uh, we are in negotiations with them to actually integrate right into the Freeman system. Emmerich says Walmart also plans to open a drive through COVID-19 testing site, but no details on where or when it will open. Elizabeth Ruiz, KTSA News. Want to help stop the spread of coronavirus while showing off your Texas pride? Well, a company in Austin has what you need. People in Texas show do make you feel at home. Texas Humor is a small family-owned business, and they're making one-size-fits-all Texas-themed face masks. They're made out of 50-50 cotton and polyester and feature slogans such as Texas Tough and Keep Smiling, You're in Texas. The masks sell for $10, and they're proving to be quite popular. In fact, the first run sold out in less than two hours, but the company says more are on the way. If you want to check them out, we've shared a link to the company at our website, ktsa.com. Don Morgan, KTSA News. An Austin Live menu venue where college student Janis Joplin launched her singing career will not be reopening after the coronavirus pandemic lifts. Threadgills was a converted gas station in Austin where Joplin, who was a University of Texas student at the time, performed in the 1960s. It closed early this month after the coronavirus outbreak was declared a pandemic, which led to the eventual ban on seated dining in restaurants. The closure was originally planned to have been temporary, but now owner Eddie Wilson says that shutdown will be permanent. He intends to sell the North Lamar Boulevard property, which have been home to Thread Gills for 87 years. KTSA Money News. From ABC News, Wall Street Now. The markets tumbled as the price of oil continues to collapse. The Dow fell 631 points off more than 2.5%. The S&P 500 gave up 86, down more than 3%. And the Nasdaq closed down 298 points, a loss of almost 3.5%. The price of oil has been plummeting because very few people are flying or driving, and factories have closed amid widespread stay-at-home orders. Global demand is set to drop this month to levels that we haven't seen since the mid-90s. At the same time, oil producers can't slow their production fast enough, and all that extra crude is going into storage, sending tanks close to their limits. Benchmark crude fell $8.86 a barrel to close at $11.57. Some corporations are taking the first steps toward bringing their employees back to work in Detroit. Automakers are negotiating safety steps with the UAW in order to reopen factories. Daria Albinger, ABC News. KTSA AccuWeather.
Cloudy and humid for tonight, low 68. Cloudy with a shower or thunderstorm in spots Wednesday, high 85. Wednesday night, clear, low 61. Thursday, bright sunshine, plus humid, high 88. I'm Andy Robb with your KTSA Stevens Roofing AccuWeather Forecast. I'm Dennis Foley. Get news around the clock in 550 KTSA and FM 1071. Get news anytime online at KTSA.com.